Anytime uh, somebody fills out an application and puts my driver code on the application, I get a referral credit through Prime. Now, for about the past eight months or so, Prime system hasn't been catching those referral credits. So, and that's not just for me, that's also for other drivers uh, because I was talking to Prime's hiring department and their IT department. So if you have used my driver code on your application, shoot me a quick email. I'll put my email down below for you. And you can say something short and sweet like, hey, my name's James or hey, my name's Tom. Rex, I did uh, use your driver code whenever I filled out the Prime online application. Or you can uh, shoot me a message on Instagram. That'd be much appreciated. So that way I can give this information over to Prime's IT department and they can get this system corrected. Because again, it's not just affecting me, it's affecting other drivers. So if maybe you use somebody, another driver's uh, referral code or driver code, Prime's system is not capturing that properly. So this is something that not just me, but other drivers I've talked to would like to get this fixed, but we have to send the name of the driver and their driver code over to the IT department. Now let's jump into this video. When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you were you referred to by an active Prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. All right, we are in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, uh, eight minutes away from the tank wash right now. Uh, this load was supposed to pick up at eight o'clock uh, in the morning, but clearly I didn't get this load until uh, while I was on my way delivering my last load to Hazleton, Pennsylvania. I'm trying to remember what time I got unloaded. I don't think I need to be, is this the lane I need to be in or do I need to be in the next lane? Oh, that is a, uh, that is a red light guys. Uh, probably want to make sure I want to I need to stop you know so uh, this next load that I got to run I got to pick up in a frat I got to pick up a load of eggs it's a drop and hook I got to get a lightweight scale ticket <clears throat> before I drop off the trailer my trailer is currently dirty right now like I said we're going to the tank wash I already got a scale ticket I actually have the PDF file saved on my phone and I also have a printed out copy on my seat so the reason I got the scale ticket before getting washed out is because there's only one scale and it's about 30 extra minutes of me driving and more fuel and more time. So I decided to just go ahead and get the scale ticket now. All right, see, so we got another half a mile. I'm not gonna be able to make it to the shipper today, but we're gonna at least get to this tank wash. I'll drop it. Go check, uh, go check in, and then I'm gonna park it. And then I'm gonna connect to the same trailer since I already got a washout, or I meant, I'm sorry, since I already got a scale ticket. I stopped up this, I stopped at this Loves, it was like 14 miles away from here to get the scale ticket. And it was just so, people were just parking everywhere. It was really, really packed. It took me 45 minutes to get in and out of there to get a scale ticket and to use the bathroom. and to give me something to drink. 45 minutes, it's crazy. After 1,000 feet, turn left onto Eric Road. All right, there's gotta be a spot over here somewhere where we could drop her. Yeah, we're gonna have to drop her over here somewhere. This will be a little tight, but we should get her. We should get her nice and smooth down here, guys. I think that should probably be good right there. All right, let's drop this bad boy. Okay, let's see here. M31700. <clears throat> Make sure I got the right trailer number Whew. all right it is getting a little chilly out there guys Whew. um there we go sorry for the beeping as usual it's a seatbelt safety thing oh yeah i think we're good all right guys let me go inside and go check in this trailer real quick all right 
All right, let's get hooked up to this trailer. I gotta take this lock off. I put a lock on here because I already got an empty scale ticket for this trailer here, guys. There we go. It's cold. It's 30 degrees, man. 30 degrees. Whee! All right. I'm pretty sure everything on this one works. Let's turn the lights on. Just to double check everything. All right, everything looks good. Now we're gonna get out of here in a minute and uh, head over to the shipper. Well, yeah, we're gonna be heading over to uh, Ephrata, Ephrata, Pennsylvania. And it looks like we're gonna be doing it. We'll be doing a drop it hook. We'll be dropping this clean trailer, which I have the, I gotta drop this off with the empty scale ticket and I have the wash ticket right here. So we got those. After we drop the clean trailer, we'll hook up to the loaded and they'll give us the bills and the empty scale ticket. And then I gotta get a heavy scale ticket before I get to the receiver, which is the 90. All right, we just got loaded. Trying to get back to, <laughs> trying to get back to the main road. I'm driving through this uh, small town in Ephrata. Ephrata, Ephrata. It says this road will be closed at night. That place got burnt. Yeah, my Garmin wants me to run like through 76 and stuff, but it wanted me to run through all the turnpikes. It's like over $400 in total, so I'm gonna avoid those. We got another half a mile to go. Oh, so it's gonna be up here. Oh boy. I just wanna get out of uh, the Northeast. Yeah, so I had to end up taking a 34 hour reset at OJ's tank wash this past weekend. So the last two weeks haven't been fun as far as home time goes because last weekend I had a 34 hour reset in Manuka and this week it was in Lancaster at OJ's tank wash. So not so much fun. There we go, 222 South, there we go, right here, okay. Oh, and the other thing is there is really no truck stops in Lancaster. I think there's one about 25 minutes away. But so yesterday, was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday, I went and got some uh, Mission Barbecue in Lancaster. Went to Walmart, stocked up some stuff. Now the Walmart in Lancaster has a very very small food aisle it didn't really have a lot of things so i was only able to grab a few things oj's tank wash their shower and their washer and dryer was down so over this weekend i have not been able to shower or do my laundry so i'm hoping tonight somewhere i can stop take a shower do some laundry and get some good food now we're on the road now i just need to go through all these back country roads to get back up to 80. so that way i don't have to pay all these damn tolls we are going up a steep grade right now. Where am I going? <clears throat> going 24 miles an hour. Yeah, we're loaded. We're loaded heavy. Yeah, we're going way, way, way up. Way up into the sky. Oh, wow, this is the fun part. Yeah, you don't get very far, very fast going up steep grades like this. The engine fans kicking on on turbo gear. I can hear it. I'm trying to keep this motor cool. This thing's working right now. I can tell you that. Hey, we're getting close to the top, you guys. We're gonna make it. Oh, there comes the surge. Give me a little slap there in the back. I need to stop and get something to eat. I need to give me a couple of monsters too. 
All right, y'all, so I got the last parking spot here uh, at this Flying J in Fort Wayne off of Highway 30. And I'm gonna go in here and take a quick shower because I need it. I was kind of freaking out whenever I was pulling in here because I, I didn't see any spots when I first pulled in and I only had 18 minutes left on my clock. I pulled in the fuel aisle. As I was pulling in the fuel aisle, I saw that there was one spot left. So I hurried up and pulled around back and started backing her up. So anyways, I got the last spot at 8 45 p.m y'all have a good night i'll see y'all in the morning well hello and good morning everybody i where the heck am i at oh yeah well i'm basically right outside of fort wayne at this flying j in new haven indiana and we are about to take off we got to grab some fuel at pilot travel center 1092 and where cedar rapids iowa yeah, yeah, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. That's where we're going to be heading to. Uh, we're going to deal with uh, some traffic going around Chicago. This is not going to be fun. 400. Let's see here. This is another. No, I'll just I'll just go this way, I guess. I don't you look full. Heading to Pilot Travel Center number 1092, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Let's see if it's still telling me to go to the same fuel stop. Yeah, Cedar Rapids. I did another macro 27 to see if that's exactly where I need to go. All right, guys, let's. Uh, Let's start rolling, man. It is time to get out of here. I think I gotta go, I think I gotta go right. Oh, it is bright. The sun is bright. Throw, throw on them shades, man, so I can see. Woo! The sun is all up in my stuff. That's what we're gonna do, navigation. We're gonna turn right. So we can get up out of here. Hmm. Hey, there's one of my prime buddies. Well, I don't, he's really not a buddy, but he's a prime driver. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to make a right, left, and right. Right, left, right. Oh, there comes the surge. He's gonna slap me. Hey, buddy, I think you're on the opposite side of the road, man. I think you're on the wrong side of the road. Gotta park where you gotta park at, man. Huh. Yeah, I took the last spot last night. All right, let's jump on 469 North, wrap around Fort Wayne here, and continue this journey, guys. Oh, let me turn the heat up a little notch. It is cold. I think it is, uh, it was 29 degrees when I got up, saying it's 35 on my dash here. All right, we're already, uh, looks like we're dealing with some traffic already here, Fort Wayne. 69, uh, that's why I need it. I need to go six, 69 south. Whoo! That wide low is pretty close to that uh, concrete barriers there, Jesus. West to Iowa. Actually, let me get over. I think I need to get over one. I'm trying to remember which way this cuts in at. Is traffic coming from the left or right? Let me get over one more. All right, here we go. Well, about four, about four hours. Yeah, stop for, stop for fuel. Actually, it wasn't bad going through uh, 94 West, like, you know, south of Chicago today. But it's only, what, 9, 9.58? So we got three fuel aisles down here at Cedar Rapids, the pilot. And it's all the way backed up. So three fuel aisles down, and this guy, flatbed guy, decides he wants to go in the opposite direction on that Catskill trying to cut in front of everybody right now bro some some people like i'm sitting here waiting my turn it's 
it's frustrating that I gotta sit here and wait. Three pumps are down, and this is uh, you know, this is the cheapest fuel on my route. Wait like everybody else, man. People always trying to cut in line or do stupid <laughs> like that. I don't understand it. He was trying to cut by me earlier on this side, and I honked my horn at him and I waved at him no, and he backed up and went around the scale. We got more people. You better not be trying to cut in front of me, bro. It is a show here at this uh, place getting fuel. I can tell you that now. I need to get a scale ticket, a heavy scale ticket, but I won't be getting it here. After I fuel, I'm gonna go about, I think like 60 miles up the street, there's a Loves off of, uh, I think it's off of 20 maybe, 380? I can't remember, I think it's off 20. I'm gonna stop there and get my heavy scale ticket. I ain't gonna do a circle on this here after I fuel, no. It's like he uh, is backing up. All right, so I stopped at a Casey's about 30 minutes from here and uh, I hopped on their scale and the way my truck app kept timing out. So I swung around and went back on the scale and then I hit the button, they said, oh, our scale's down. So now I'm at an, another stop. So I stopped to get fuel, which took an hour and the fuel was trickling out. I didn't want to spin back around and use their scale. So I went to this Casey's and yeah, that didn't work. So now I got to get to this scale. But as you can see, there's a truck in front of me here at the fuel aisle. So fun stuff, fun stuff. Is this guy going to move? Is this guy not going to get fuel now? All right, now we're just going to cruise real slow and hop on this damn scale all right this one's 14.33 okay confirm bro is this thing not gonna work again here bro we're gonna be stopping here at this uh i think it's marker 126 i'm off of highway 20. the mile marker is actually 124 but they call this uh marker 126 and i think i'm gonna i think there's a couple more spots here snag i'm gonna snag this spot right over here well, look at that front row ticket right there man front row ticket Whew, this is where we're stopping oh it's been a week i'm gonna tell you that right now all right, let me go to uh, on duty, do a little post trip inspection here. Yo, good morning, everybody. Oh man, I woke up. Uh, woke up a little late. I gotta take. I gotta get all my vitamins here. Six o'clock. I had my alarm set for four forty-eight, but I turned that thing off. I was tired. I gotta go in here into this uh, truck stop and uh, brush my teeth. Give me something to drink. All right, so I got me a little sausage, a little sausage, egg and cheese croissant, and a little little pack of uh, cinnamon rolls. A little hearty breakfast. That's pretty good. I don't know where I'm going next. No pre-plan yet. I'm thinking they might tell me to drop this one and bring a dirty trailer to Springfield. I'm only 105 miles away from uh, Spencer, Iowa. These little mini cinnamon roll bites. Oh, maybe you can't see it. No, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, man. I'm going to put on my light uh, windbreaker jacket since I'm in the truck now. I did have my big jacket on my beanie. It's like 37 degrees. But that ain't nothing. It's only going to get colder. Let's hit the road, y'all. Oh, before we hit the road, guys, let me make sure I got my other GoPro batteries charging right here. I think they're already charged. Okay, they are. they're already charged up. All right. I'm gonna go check my safety latch. Yeah, I already did a quick inspection here on my uh, my truck and my trailer. <clears throat> so, we are good. Yeah, we, we are good. You guys ready to get out of here? I know, me too. I am ready to go. Get this load delivered. I don't even need the navigation here on my phone. Looks like we got another tanker over here. Is he trying to beat me? Oh, that's not a prime tanker. All right, let's get it. Oh, you just you just flying down here, huh, bro? He's kicking up all that dust on that dirt road there. All right.
I think this truck's in the left lane. Yeah, he is. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and get it, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, so right after I shut down, I, I brushed my teeth and I tried to lay down, but I couldn't go to bed for like three hours. I don't know if y'all ever feel like that where you're driving for hours and hours and right at the end of driving, you feel tired, but then when you actually stop your truck and park it, it like goes away. That's what happened last night. So that's why when I woke up, I woke up like at two o'clock in the morning. I mean, I couldn't go back to bed till like almost three. I had my alarm set for 4.48. I just turned that sucker off. So right now it's 6.29 in the morning and, uh, and we're, finally, uh, we're finally rolling now. Yeah, actually I haven't been to Spencer in a minute. Spencer, Iowa. Yo, what up y'all? So it is, uh, it is really bright. Drop my loaded tanker. I was hooking up to an empty tanker here because they had five trailers. And as I was hooking up to a trailer, my dispatcher sent me this message and basically told me to hook up to, you know, a 9800 or an M3 series, which has a pump on it for this next load, which I'll put up here on the screen for you. So this is going to be the next load that I'm running. So we are going to be picking up in Bellevue, Nebraska tomorrow between eight and four. And that is going to be delivering Friday to Mars Pet Care in Mattoon, Illinois. So right now I'm just waiting for this load. I just did my depart call. Got hooked up again, like I said, to this trailer. So I'm just waiting for this load to come through. Sometimes it'll take a couple minutes for your depart call to get sent through and for them to clear the load that you that you basically just finished and then for the new one to come through. So that's what I'm currently waiting to do. I already did a pickup trailer inspection on this trailer. Uh, everything is good. I mean, it's got some dents and scratches on it, but I always put that inside your pickup trailer inspection. So that way nothing never comes back to you. Always CYA, cover your yeah them damages wasn't for me but it's just cosmetic stuff it's not gonna affect me from picking up getting loaded delivering dropping off pumping off or whatever so which i don't even know why i need a pumper trailer for this load because we do not pump off over at morris peck here in uh, mattoon illinois so uh it is what it is i think the load's about to come through right now i still got a couple more of these little mini uh these little mini cinnamon rolls right here it's like a perfect glaze around it Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. So I think, oh, here it comes. Load assignment. So let's uh, go ahead and accept this load. And then we'll start filling out this trip sheet. And let's put the trip number, which is 151. And we just got to fill in our little bubbles here. Let's get out of here, guys. We're going to head over to this. Uh, we're going over to the Omaha Tank Wash in Bell, Bellevue, Nebraska. About four hours away. We're going we're gonna to ride these uh, backcountry roads. Make sure we're good. After three quarters of a mile, turn left. Three quarters of a mile, turn left on 350th Street. There we go. I guess I didn't really have to cut it that wide, but. All right, we're on to the next load, guys. That's an easy drop and hook. Uh, the shipper here, though, and Spencer. They don't make copies for you, so after I have them sign the bills, the shipper only gave me one set of bills, so after they signed it, I just took a picture with my phone. Uh, somebody did make a comment about, that, you know, they have they have a printer in their truck. Uh, I'm thinking I should get one, but I'm gonna wait. You know, I, I do wanna eventually get a uh, TV, reorganize my truck, but I'm gonna wait till, let me look both ways here. I'm gonna wait till, um, I do a lease purchase. I'm still working on saving up the money for that. To do a lease purchase, I'm gonna go with a full-size Freightliner. And I totally forgot where I was going with this, guys, this conversation. I don't, I'm, I'm having a brain fart right now. Nope, I'm not gonna go left. I'm actually gonna go straight, it's quicker. All right, let's, uh, let's come to a complete stop so that way we are safe, guys. Oh, oh, where I was going with this damn conversation was about the printer in the comment stating that I should get a printer for my truck. I have thought about it, but I'm going to wait until I get my new truck, which again, I'm still saving the money for it to do the lease purchase. And I'll go, I'll go over that completely with y'all exactly like how it works. And I will break down and tell y'all my plan and how I'm going to get, be prepared once I put the order in and after I get the truck. Navigation, you keep interrupting me. I'm going to put you on silent. Now, whenever you do a lease purchase, 
you were in that category of actual owner operator for for the uh for my subscribers who've been with me for a while and saw the video regarding the issue uh the transmission leak i had how prime paid me 1375 dollars for my truck being down for five days when i do the lease if i was in the lease purchase prime does not pay me breakdown pay once i go to a lease purchase only under standard walkaway lease does prime pay you breakdown pay so in that case i would have got paid zero dollars and still had to make my truck payment for the lease purchase so if you decide to do a lease purchase you know i was talking to a buddy uh, of mine another guy he just uh, started a lease purchase i'm not 100 sure maybe four or five months ago uh my buddy Shane, shout out to Shane. What's up, bro? If you're watching this. He told me, hey, Rex, if you're going to, you know, decide to do the lease purchase, I recommend you have 10 grand uh, saved up in your emergency fund. So right now, I've been having Prime take out $500 a paycheck. So I think I got three grand. This Friday, I'll have 3,500. Also, what I'm doing is I'm, <clears throat> I'm starting to build up business credit. And I'll have to make a video uh, about that. So that way, you guys can kind of get a full understanding of how i plan to prepare myself for emergencies financially if something does happen with my lease purchase truck if i get broken down for a week or whatever because i want to be prepared i don't want to just spend all my dough and then the first month i'm down for a week and now i'm in the hole no breakdown pay and it just kind of screws me over i don't i, I want to try to be as prepared as possible once I start this lease purchase. And with Tanker, there is a three-year and a four-year lease purchase option available, uh, but I, I don't know the exact dollar amount. It depends on the truck and all the upgrades that you get. All right, let's let's uh, let's get on out of here. Make sure we come to a complete stop. There we go. All right, we're still rolling through the back country roads right now, uh, 52 miles away from this uh, tank wash here. I don't even know what town this is that I'm driving through. Yeah, I have no clue. Somewhere off of a... Uh, somewhere off 30, I think. Yeah, so after I get washed out today, uh, I'll be sitting. So, because I can't get loaded until tomorrow. But that's all right. I just want to get over to this tank wash so at least I can have the uh, tanker washed out today. Uh, <clears throat> this uh, tank wash I'm going to, Omaha Tank Wash in Bell Bellevue, Nebraska, is uh, one of the few, or I think it's the only one, no, the second tank wash that uh we got to fill out a, a check uh prime provides you with calm data checks so i have to check in and then right before they start the washing process i got to call prime's fuel desk and get what's called an express code and i got to write that on the check itself and then they'll start to wash out my my trailer this is a, i think this is missouri valley iowa that i'm about to yeah that i'm running through right now yeah missouri valley I'm getting closer to 29, trying to get over to 29 so we can go south. Just cruising them back country roads. But yeah, it's been real windy. That wind certainly, uh, certainly be hurting your fuel mileage when you're going against the wind, even when I'm empty. Oh, this is that delay it's talking about. So there's gonna be a delay up here. It's like they're doing some road construction up here. Road work ahead. Yep, I, I see that. Oh, is this thing down? Oh, it's one lane. Ah, oh, one lane road. Ah, oh, dang it. 
Hopefully it stays green for us guys. I guess we're gonna find out, right? It's green, why are you stopping? It is all green. A one lane road. Yeah, you. <laughs> this happens actually quite often when you're on these backcountry roads. They'll go over these, uh, you know, one lane roads because they're obviously doing construction. So, and there is a truck behind me, so. There we go. We'll get past that. All right, we are here at the Omaha Tank Wash. Well, almost here. All right, Tank Wash is here over on the right. Yeah, this is the one that I'm gonna have to go in here and check in and call Prime, Prime's fuel desk to get a, what the heck, do, it's a code express code to put on the check for them for the washout all right let's go in here and check in real quick guys okay let's, hey that it's the same bike i had right there same exhaust uh is this the check-in spot now yep all right guys we're all checked in wow. we are all checked in the spot where you normally check in over here let me turn my cb radio down here for a second real quick guys the spot where i normally check in at they uh it was blocked off so they have like another door i went in i forgot Whew, excuse me this place uh they want your previous bills the place i just delivered to and spencer don't make copies of bills but i took a picture of it so i just sent the email off to him i'm all checked in uh once these guys here in front of me are done washing that tanker i'll pull in that bay and then off to the left i'll talk with uh one of the cleaner guys basically the cleaners the manager and i will have to give them they will basically have an invoice ready for me and then i gotta call prime i have to get what's called an express code whenever you start rolling with prime whether it's company or lease once you start riding solo when you go to the outbound or inbound you know like right before you leave when you, after you get your truck you're gonna get you know binder and all that stuff you're gonna get trip sheets one of the things you're gonna get is th these are calm data checks here this is one of two tank washes i've been to that require tank wash all the other ones it's you know a net 30 you know we don't we just do paperwork they give us it and we go this one wants to be paid on the spot basically so because i believe this tank wash is out of network for us okay so they're actually just want me to write the express code on their wash ticket so oh here it is it just came through here on my phone i'll put this up here on the screen so it just came through as a message so i'm going to write down the express code for this uh, wash so i guess I do not need the uh, comm check. I just got to write the express code for him. So that works for me. Uh, let's write it down here real quick and then we're going to go give it to him. All right. Let's get this All right. We're good. A lot of whistling and stuff going on over here. Oh yeah, I gotta call the uh, I gotta call the wifey back. I'll put this here up on the screen for you. So I just got over to this loves right here. So. I'm at this Loves, Pacific Junction, Iowa. I just left the tank wash, so the tank wash is only, let me show you how far this is. Check violation. Okay, well I don't turn right there when I go to the tank wash, so got it. So it's basically 11 miles. Now where I'm actually gonna go get loaded is up here, where is, uh, what is that place called? Where am I getting loaded at? Oh, snap. I totally, uh, was it? Oh, it's Darling Ingredients. Right here. DAR Pro Solutions. So, if you see where this flag is, guys, I can't get loaded till tomorrow. All right, so let's go back here. So let's close out this tank wash, and I would, sh this is how far I am. I'm 11 minutes away from the shipper, and my appointment is tomorrow. Uh, between 8 a.m. and 4 so I'll get there about 745 okay Revzilla I'll get there about 745 but right now I'm about to go inside of this uh, loves and I'm gonna get me a shower and then uh, I gotta do some video some video editing oh let me change myself to off duty that would be smart Rex yo what's up and good morning everybody just went and grabbed a couple energy drinks and uh, I like these sausage egg and cheese little waffle sandwiches actually pretty good what time is it 7 22 i gotta hurry up do my pre-trip and get over to this uh shipper so that way we can get loaded with some tallow all right let's fire it up 
Oh, I gotta switch this. Taste some meat. All right. Oh, let me let me throw my jacket back on. Change myself to on-duty vehicle inspection. All right. So everything under the hood is good. I'm just coming out here to visually just check everything, make sure everything looks good because we're technically really only going 11 minutes up the street. Oh, that's, oh, that's just because these are loose, huh? It's kind of annoying. At least I don't got to hear that while well, I'm in the truck anyway. <laughs> hey, Rex, it would have been smart, bro, if you would have put on your flashers, bro. So let me go walk all the way back around. Smart guy here, guys. And this dude next to me. I got up. He's pouring his pee cups right out of his truck. And it was just dribbling all over the side of his truck. Disgusting. I pee, I pee in bottles. Every, every guy does on the road. I, I just, I don't pour them out on the... People leave them there. I mean, I, I throw mine in the trash. I think we're good back here. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So this load, this load that we're gonna go head over and uh, we'll not pick up the load. We're gonna go get loaded in this clean tanker. It's supposed to deliver tomorrow in Mattoon, Illinois. Now, if I get loaded today, which I should, I can get delivered late tonight. I'm thinking if Prime doesn't have anything in the area over the weekend, they're probably gonna tell me to deadhead from Mattoon, Illinois to Springfield. It's just my guess. I don't know for sure if that's what's gonna happen, but you never know with trucking. I think my nipples got hard. Whew. Yeah, they did just a little bit, guys. TMI, TMI. Oh, wow, I'm surprised that my uh, that my radio just turned on. I had to kind of hurry and uh, get out of that spot. I didn't even see that damn truck coming from the right side. So I had plenty of time. I got three monsters here at this Loves, guys. And I got two little breakfast sandwiches. So I was, I was going to get in my truck, right? I opened my door and I slipped. So I had the bag, like it was in front of my chest. So I like, my chest hit the, the bottom floorboard here in the corner at the bottom of the door and one of the monster cans just started squirting and shooting out everywhere so i had a little bit of a mess this morning that i had to end up cleaning up so yeah that was that was the first time that i uh i slipped about busting my all over the ground it is bouncy down here yeah it is uh really bouncy yeah we're about half a mile to the shipper up here on the left Looks like we got another prime drive over here. I wonder if this guy's gotten loaded or not. I don't know, my appointment's between 8 and 4 p.m. today. It is 8.01 in the morning. Oh, uh, that right tail light on that damn trailer got mangled. Poof. Oh, they sleeping. Do we got somebody here on the scale? I think we do, guys. Do not park behind the trucks on the scale. We're gonna wait for this tanker to finish checking in. They're gonna have to back off the scale and go out that way. And then I'll go over these railroad tracks, hop on their scale and go check in. My memory card's almost getting full. My damn, uh, my damn GoPro. I forgot to reformat it and clear my space when I was transferring files. I'm about to do that tonight.